Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. This is IELTS speaking test happening at BBC Global Education, Butor Milancho. My name is DB Rai Mazi. Uh, can you please tell me your full name? Well, my name is Swikriti Shrestha, but you can call me by my first name. Swikriti. Yeah. Right. So where do you come from, Swikriti? Well, I come from um, Butol Tamnagar, which is in the western part of our country and uh, it is uh, really near to KNIT College. Oh, KNIT College. Okay. Do you live alone or with the family there? Well, I live with my uh, family with uh, four members. All right. So what do you do at the moment? Um, are you a student uh, uh, or do you have a kind of jobs? Well, I currently completed my uh, grade, grade 12, 12. Uh, examinations and pa I passed it and currently I'm studying in... Is that management faculty or science? Yes, I'm from auto management faculty. Wow, that's very nice faculty, right? Okay, so can I see your identification, please? Sir, <coughs> All right, thank you. Well, in the first part of speaking test, uh, I want to ask you a few questions about a very common and general topic. Uh, the topic is uh, international foods. Do you like eating international foods? Yeah, I do love uh, eating international foods like pizza, burger. It's really delicious in taste, so I really love it. Wow, that's nice. Um, can you find um, the international food or cuisines, uh, um, you know, in your area? I mean, the, the, the city or the place where you actually live? Yeah, in my city, there are so many restaurants, cafes, and nowadays we can find easily uh, food like um, burger, pizza, mm -hmm. and other more international food in our locality. Can you say how often you eat these kinds of foods and where? Well, I especially eat in uh, my weekend with whenever I go with my friends or family. Yeah. I eat at that. So is that at a cafe or restaurant? It's uh, it depends upon situations or sometimes I go cafe with my friends uh -huh. and sometimes I go restaurant with my family. Wow, that's nice. So have you ever tried making these kinds of foods or these kinds of cuisines at home? Well, yeah, in my uh, weekend time or in my holiday, I usually um, practice or I usually do watch a uh, YouTube video and learn how to make this kind of cuisine. Like the burger or pizza? Like both. I have uh, experience and I have tried both making it in our home. It's just because you're from hospitality background? Yeah. Yeah, it's because we already practice in our college or uh, in our class because mm -hmm. of our because of my uh, subject. We already practice you different have, kind of cuisines in. You have more interest in that. Yeah, definitely. Nice. So I choose it. What foods uh, from your country uh, would you recommend to people from other countries to try? Like, if you have to recommend people from other countries to try particularly in your country what would, would be that what i would do? definitely uh, recommend momos which is really famous uh, food of our country wow. and now it's really uh, nepal versus momo yeah <laughs> now it's also recognized as a, a national food like national fast food mm -hmm, yeah recently is it that we can find it everywhere yeah it is available in almost every country nowadays Mm. And it is uh, really known by uh, Nepalese uh, famous food. Like uh, it's preferred by all kinds of people in Nepal? Yeah. It's Almost good. in every restaurant there are available uh, these foods. Mm. Okay, good. Well, in the second part of the speaking test, I will give you a, a cue card which contains a topic along with some questions, I mean, four different questions. You have a single minute, make sure uh, that you prepare the entire speech and speak at least one to two minutes. Is that okay? 
Yeah. Okay. Your topic is describe a law, law that was introduced in your country and you thought that was a very good idea. Rule. Okay. And what you should say, what this rule was and who introduced it and when and why it was introduced and explain why you thought this law was such a good idea. Okay. This is your topic. Any kind of rule or law you can talk about. <coughs> no problem. You can imagine anything and say. If you are ready, you can start. Okay, start your speech. Well, in my country, there are different kind of laws which is recently been established or introduced. Uh, well, it is really important to make a good law for a country and for the development of the country. Uh, the law was uh, recently it was established by uh, our education ministry. Um, even though I'm not so um, interested in this field, but I know few about it. Like I and now I'm going to mention it. Like the law was um, the education in education field. Uh, every uh, student should get chance, even though they be, uh, they failed in the exam. They should uh, get chance for once uh, and uh, give the exam in, in um, health uh, like medical field uh, give the examination or we can say um, like we can say uh, um, entrance exam uh, in uh, even though they get failed because um, they might be a big they might fail uh, their examination because of some uh, uh, trouble or by mistakenly uh, so they should have uh, that opportunity or uh, chance to uh, do the uh, to give the exam and uh, and which will lead them to do to be a, a great uh, person in the futures and also they can develop the country in the futures and it is really really good for everyone and uh, Nepalese youth or young people or uh, students for uh, improving themselves as well as the country. That's nice. Good. Well, in the third part of speaking test, we're going to uh, discuss some topics. First, let's talk about school rules. Okay. What kind of rules are very common in a school? Well, in my um, opinion, uh, the rules like we should always follow the um, schools, uh, we should always go uh, or reach schools in time and as well as we should always be in a proper uniform. Okay. How important is it to have rules in a school? <coughs> uh, well, uh, in my uh, perspective, it is really important to have rules in uh, schools and colleges because it helps uh, to students to become um, to be in a like proper line or proper way and would make them punctual mm, yeah so what do you recommend should happen if the students uh, break the laws of the school or the rules of the school uh, well obviously <coughs> they should uh, get uh, some punishment <coughs> if they break the rules which will uh, make them conscious about the, what should they do and what not be done mm. you mean to say that there should be the system of giving them punishment yeah based on their crimes or the mistakes right yeah. they That's might it. make mistakes yeah uh, in the future like they might uh, to solve that uh, like to maintain that 
this should be punished soon. All right. Okay, now let's talk about another topic that's uh, working in the legal profession, working as a lawyer. So can you suggest why many students these days want to study law at the university? Well, in my perspective, uh, I think it's based on their interest too. First of all, it's based on interest, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, it is also a high paid uh, salary job so people often uh, often choose that field mm -hmm. is it good for the men or women it is uh, it depends upon their own perspective Interest. yeah and and it i think in my opinion it it will be best for uh, both yeah people Maybe. love advocacy yeah, yeah. okay and um, so what are the key personal qualities needed to be a successful lawyer well uh, what one has to be well in my perspective uh, to be a successful lawyer uh, they need to have good communication skills communication skills yeah and they need to have a loud voice which will make them to speak very uh, which will may help them to speak and make their word truth, uh, so their word truth, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of uh, their loyalty? Yes. Uh, mm. You think the lawyers have to be loyal? Yeah, it's uh, really important to be loyal. Not even, um, uh, not even only, not even lawyer, but also every people should be loyal in their um, life, life and behavior yeah. what if there's if some lawyers are rude if some lawyers harsh becomes harsh or rude and uh, they might lose their um, they might lose the uh, uh, they might lose their case or credibility yeah mm. Do you agree that working in the legal profession as a lawyer is quite stressful? Uh, well, in my perspective, it's quite stressful obviously because they, they have to uh, think about others and they might, they might have their own problems as well, but they, they should have to uh, take care of other problems as well. So it's quite stressful, I guess. Yes, I think because they have to think more about others and the cases yeah, uh, so maybe they get quite busy yeah. handling all kinds of you know cases in the courts yeah. okay thank you uh, this is the end of the test thank you, sir.